Okay, so here's the problem. These are the ones that are in, rack them with these rubber flaps. And when they get cold, they get stiff, real stiff. But anyway, you can put a lock in there and a lock in there, or just one, because once you lock like one end, you're not getting it out of there anyway. And it rotates over and releases all of them. So you got one lock, okay? But you put that in there and that one, now line that hole up that one's fine this one here when you put it in there okay let me show you why i don't like these see how that's in there okay flip that out of the way even if i brought this back to it's up there it's on my trigger where if it moves it's going to break my trigger it's going to break this assembly you put that in that doesn't go see it won't turn in it's too tight you have to put it down so it's down lower like that then you roll this in and it's tight on there like that but see even though that's tight on there when you're going down the road it moves all around going down the road look at this one flips all around see that put it up in there further these don't come down enough on some of them if i get it in there a little bit further and squeeze my triggers in put it in there a little bit further you know pull it back further to where it's tight on there it still is only putting a little down pressure on there it still moves even with it locked in they move now ironically those are made by Rackham and these are Packham now you'll see these when I get them up there why I like these better they're cheap it's it'll hold three trimmers it's 76 dollars free shipping to your door and i'm going to show you why i like them better and before any, any of you nazis get on the comments and start saying oh you should have used uh this brand or that brand i'm going to touch on that in a minute so hold your comments yourself and stay tuned and i'll show you why and rather than just following suit like everybody else on youtube i'll show you what experience will get you and why i'm using what i use Okay, so here they are. This is the kind I use. I had to run a little beetle weld in there because I got the bottom bolts in, but the top ones, there's no holes in here, and the guy had self-tappers going in there. I didn't like them for the other ones that were on there. So I just ground it, ran a little bead in there, and welded it to that. Um, I'll paint over it. No big deal. If I ever uh, want to take them off, I just cut it with a cutoff wheel right through there, and off they go. Grind it down smooth. So they got like a hammered finish look to them. They're nice. Anyway, this is the style that I use. This is what I like. It has padding in there. Yeah, it wears out over time. My last set they wore out. It was like a year, year and a half they wore out. I just wrapped electrical tape in there. I think at one time I put a little thin piece of rubber in there um, and glued it in there. Did the same thing. And this style presses up just like that. Okay, now I know what you guys are going to say. Watch. You take this trimmer, okay, you put it at an angle in there, it goes through, that sits in there, that goes up like that, and I probably should have grabbed a pin so that I could show this the right way, but, uh, stand by. I'll just, okay, so, like I was saying, you put that in there an angle like that, put this in here, press that up like that, let me throw this pin in here. See, you just pop that pin in, or you can put a padlock in its place, okay? And yeah, you have to put a padlock padlock on each one versus all them other new ones out, where you put one lock in that locks them all. So you gotta put a lock in each one. Big freaking deal. To be honest with you, it comes with three padlocks, all keyed the same. Oh, and to top it off, it comes with this too. This is to hold your trimmer string. And it mounts right to the top. Or you can mount to the side there and out there. You mount to the other side. You mount to this side. Then you put it right there and hang it in there. And it'll hold your spool of trimmer string. That comes with it. The three locks, the rack, all for $75. Okay? Now that this is in here, look. This thing doesn't move. It'll, it'll move side to side, but it doesn't, it doesn't freaking turn. Okay, I can turn it just a hair either way, but it won't rotate. See? 
because it's pinched in there. It won't rotate. It'll stay just like that the whole way. It doesn't, you can, I can slide it that way a little bit so that it doesn't bounce right here where it'll snap the head off. I've never had a problem with that, ever. Ran these things for years with another company and then all the years that, that I had opened trailers before I switched to enclosed, same exact way. I ran the same ones. I've never, ever had one of those break off. And the streets around here are horrible. You can lose Priuses in the holes in the streets in my area, okay? They have the rubber thing there, never comes out of there. Never ever has it ever happened to me. But, so you have to use three separate pins if you're in a bad neighborhood, three separate locks. Are you really that lazy that you would pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars more just where you can put in one clip or one lock to lock all three? If you're that lazy that that's going to be the determining factor, you're in the wrong business anyway. Um, these are what I use. Um, the Defender Racks, I think they are. I, I don't really know much about them. I can't say much about them. Um, the Green Touch Racks, I like them. I like the design of them, the idea of them. But the thing that gets me is they're are hundreds and hundreds of reviews online on youtube on the internet itself on everything and they all say the same thing unless you get the extension piece for the head it will snap the shaft over time eventually it will snap the shaft and that head will break off okay and in the, they even say that on their website from the factory they recommend you get that because that will happen so let me get this straight they sell their trimmer racks for an extremely high price. They know before they even sell it to you that without the extension kit, the, the mount for the head of the trimmer, that it's going to break the piece of equipment that you have worked and busted your ass for, that you've worked hard for. They know it's going to break that. But they don't include it with the racks. Why? Why? That's pretty much like kicking you in the ball saying, we don't give a shit about you or your equipment. We're going to nickel and dime you for an extra accessory because we know our racks are junk without that. We know that your equipment is going to break without that. But we're still not going to include it. We're going to make you buy it separate. And for that reason alone, it's exactly why I will not give them my money. I don't care if it was $50 for their rack and another $5 for the extension headpiece. I still wouldn't give them my money for that alone. Because that's just nasty, dirty, grimy business. Why would you do that? Knowing that your that your product is going to break somebody's equipment they've worked their butt off for. Why would you do that? So, enough about them. So I go with these. I've used these forever. I love them. They're tried, tried and true, tested, flawless, never had an issue. They've never break, never broke on me. They performed flawlessly. My stuff stays where I want it to stay does the job so I gotta put an extra pin in or pin each one put padlocks in and so what I'm not lazy big deal that's what I use but look at all that you get you get the three locks that are all keyed the same they send you the locks they send you the mount to hold your trimmer string if you don't already have one I already have one but they send you that it's a three place rack and they give it to you with free shipping so $75 you get all that so for a guy just starting off and you need a set of trimmer racks it's the way to go